as the saying goes there are two kinds of person born in hospital every day there's a person who is going to get a job and there's a person who is going to give job to that person now we all need to choose for ourselves what kind of persons that we all want to become a very good morning respected judges my dear teachers and my dear friends today I would like to invite you all to reflect with me on the leaders are not born but made. Let me take you to the 90s. In 1979, on 10th of August, when India tried to first launch SLV-3, everything was ready under the leadership of Dr. A.P. Abdul Kalam and it was given to the computer system for the final check. The process was won. The check was going on. Then the countdown started. T minus 60 seconds. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 10 seconds. Then suddenly comes hold. Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam describes. He was in the forefront and there was six experts behind of him. Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam, at his surprise, approaches to the man who was in, at the computer, asks, what happened? He says, sir, you cannot launch it. He says, why? No, there is a leakage in the fuel. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam thinks for himself. Then he bypasses the computer and he launches it. The rocket goes the first stage and the second stage goes away. Whoosh! It lands in the Bay of Bengal. Course of rupees, hard work of so many individuals are just lost in a second. Dr. Satish Dhawan, the chief and leader of the organization, calls for an immediate press conference. And Dr. A.P. Abdul Kalam describes he was just sitting beside Dr. Satish Dhawan. Dr. A.P. Abdul Kalam was so scared, he was so frightened because he thought everyone is going to criticize him because of his decision. And he was the project manager. But at his surprise, Dr. Satish Dhawan stands up says dear friends we failed at the first attempt therefore we need to give more attention to the scientists and to the technology i as the leader and chief of the organization owed the failure for myself but i assure you the project manager and his team will succeed by next year surprisingly it happened so in 1980, on 18th of July, the mission was accomplished. Dr. Satish Dhawan smilingly approaches Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam, says, today you hold a conference. Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam, at his first moment, he was a little bit hesitant, but he held the conference. And Dr. Satish Dhawan stands and says, I applaud and congratulate all my teammates. Then Dr. A. P. Abdul Kalam concludes, no principles of management could have ever taught me the lesson that I learned today in the person of Dr. Satish Dhawan. When the failure occurred, he as the leader and chief owed the failure for himself. When the success came, he gave the credit to all his teammates. Dear friends, in this beautiful morning, I would like to invite you all to reflect for ourselves. You know, we all of us leader in one way or the other. We, some of us may be leading a small group. Some of us are maybe, maybe leading a bigger group. And in leading, we face success as well as failure. When we face failure, do I play a blame game? Blame my teammates? Or as a leader, do I owe the blame for myself and give the boost to my teammates, yes, we can do it next time. Let's get on work. And when success occurs, do I take the credit only for myself? Or do I give the credit like Dr. Satish Dhawan did to all my teammates? This is the only reflection that I would like to invite you to reflect upon in this beautiful morning. Before I end, I would like to tune your ears with the vision poem of Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam. I climbed and climbed, where is the peak, oh my lord? I plowed and plowed, where is the knowledge treasure, my lord? I sailed and sailed, 
Where is the island of peace, O my Lord? Bless my nations, my Lord, with visions and sweat resulting into happiness. Leaders are not born, but made. Shruti Mandal. Thank you.